Freshman Congresswoman Ayanna Presley, she's broken with the squad and endorsed Elizabeth Warren. Plus, Tulsi Gabbard, in our opinion, has given a smackdown on The View. True. We are back with Colin Rojero, Democratic strategist, and Henry Rogers, reporter for The Daily Caller. Let's start with Tulsi. So, um, you will recall that there was a whole flap that we definitely talked about here where Hillary Clinton <laughs> accused her of being a Russian asset. Ridiculous, baseless, stupid smear. Um, Joy Behar on The View had sort of backed Hillary up and called Tulsi a useful idiot. Well, yesterday, Tulsi was on The View and had this exchange with Joy. Some of you have accused me of being a, uh, a traitor to my country, a Russian asset, a Trojan horse, uh, yeah. or a useful, we haven't accused you a useful idiot, I think was the term well, that you used. Which basically means that I'm uh, naive or, or lack that's intelligence a Russian to term. know what's going they on. They use that. Joy, this is why I mean, this you're is on, why you're I'm on here. Tucker Carlson at least 10 times. Why don't you go on Chris this, Wallace's this is, show? This is why I'm here, because you and other people continue to, to spread these innuendos that have nothing to do with who I am. Well, Hillary Clinton started it, and then you I shot am. back at her, boy. <laughs> you called her the queen of you, war you, you double down, unfortunately, you double down on the baseless accusations that she made that strikes at the core of who I am. Colin, this whole thing has been nothing but good for Tulsi, and I thought she handled herself very well there. Well, she did. She's very clearly comfortable <laughs> under pressure. Maybe that has to do with her military experience, but I think these are kind of silly accusations, and I'm a little bit ashamed that the Democratic Party establishment hasn't yeah. backed her up more. She's a Russian plant because she goes on Fox News. That would make me one, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're probably all here. Fly, we're, we're all table. Russian plants. Yeah. 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 Bernie that Sanders matter. and Pete Buttigieg and oh, Beto. Oh, Beto all Andrew the Yang. Amy Klobuchar, these people who went on Fox News. Yeah. yeah, Andrew Yang. It's insane. I thought she handled herself very well. I, I mean, Joy Behar is, <laughs> I don't even, I'm not even yeah, going to no say Yeah, no comment about she, Joy Behar. Yeah, but, like, but she's got but her seriously, stick. She, yeah. she has her stick. But, yeah. but, like, but throwing these insults and these accusations out at the Democratic, at the Democratic right. presidential candidate like this with no basis is ridiculous. Yeah. And thank God Tulsi has the guts and, and, and can stand up for herself and fight back. She's been doing this for months now. Right. She's been being attacked by... Hillary Clinton right. by all these other people. So I'm glad that she can stand up there on the view and say, listen, this is why I'm here. It's yeah. to clear the record and say, this is not what I believe in. Mm -hmm. You guys are smearing my name. And yet she has no defense from the Democratic Party, which I find interesting. Right. Well, I think it's funny because on the right, the reason that we've all come to Tulsi's defense is they've been saying this about us now for three <laughs> years. <laughs> I'm like, we get it. Yeah. I'm like, I get it, we Tulsi. We were talking about this last yeah, time. Yeah, I was like, this last time. I'm I like, remember I this. understand <laughs> exactly what it's like to be like, hmm, maybe it's crazy that Montenegro's a NATO. They're like, you're a Russian plan, yeah. <laughs> and so, like, yeah, so I, I, I do think there's yeah. something a little troubling that we should be paying attention to in yeah. this beyond, sure. you know, teammates. It's like, this is a veteran who's saying, hey, I don't want us involved in foreign entanglements. And they're attacking right. exactly. a veteran's dedication to her country, right. just like they did, you know, I, I think it was Vladimir from Ukraine in the uh, in the impeachment hearings. And, you know, I think that's yeah, right. like, look, that's we, good, we need that, to be a little careful well, with this That's a very good attack. example. If they don't, I, in my, they don't give a damn about service, the media and a lot of these people, they're propping up the uniform yeah. when Whenever it's convenient to them, mm -hmm. and then they'll wash away the uniform whenever well, it's like, not. I don't think exactly. that the fact that you served, I give full credit to everyone who served this nation. I don't think that it absolves everything. Like I don't think right. you're, but but the, the, to me, the thing that in in this is that Colin, you're getting at that if you have a heterodox view, mm -hmm. if you challenge the establishment, if you have some, you know, a radical view or something that is uncomfortable for the mainstream, right. and they can just smear and dismiss you as a Russian plant without any evidence, to me it's very troubling. So I love that she pushed back. And by the way, the View audience, I watched the whole interview, they really were on her side. And yeah, because when she's was. there well, to your so. face, you're, yeah. you know, it's very hard thing to level when someone is actually right. sitting there with you. Yeah. yeah. So we also have Ayanna Presley, member of the squad. She endorsed Elizabeth Warren, her home state senator. Let's take a listen to her announcement. For Elizabeth and for me, power belongs in the hands of people. That's why she's fighting for fundamental change that restores power to those who've been left behind and centers those who've never had access to it in the first place. This election is a fight for the very soul of our nation. Elizabeth knows how to fight and she knows how to win. I'm proud to call her my senator. I can't wait to call her our president. 
Uh, she didn't have much of a choice, did she, Colin? I mean, when you're representing Cambridge, Massachusetts, I mean, former Harvard professor, sure, you've got to endorse her. Absolutely, yeah. and they've got a, yeah. they've got a long-standing relationship, right. so they've been friends for a long period of time, so that's not a real surprise. Right. I think the most surprising thing, or maybe not in this ad, is Ayanna Presley on camera is fantastic. Yeah, she she looks good. Yeah, yeah, she good. sounds yeah, wonderful. She is a great, yeah. great advocate to have on your side in the Democratic no, primary, for she's sure. She's a star. I mean, yeah. I will say, uh, of the four of them, look, they're not a monolith. Like, they're, they're right. friends, they're allies, mm -hmm. etc., but they do have different ways of approaching politics. The other three really came up through this movement of sort of like working class, multiracial movement. Ayanna backed Hillary Clinton. Mm -hmm. She came up more through a sort of traditional um, power model. So, again, they're not a monolith. And even outside of her representing Cambridge, I think her politics are frankly more in line with Elizabeth Warren's. Yeah, yeah, yeah I would say so. Also, I mean, yeah, like they have a history. She campaigned, Elizabeth Warren campaigned for Presley when she was running for Congress. Mm -hmm. So this was of no surprise to me. I've seen a lot of people spinning it to be like the squad divided, the squad yeah. breaks up, yes. yeah, they which I don't, I, don't, I don't agree with personally because, I mean, obviously, you know, she has she was she's a congresswoman from the state of Massachusetts. Elizabeth mm -hmm. Warren from Massachusetts. They have similarities there. She campaigned for. Her. They believe the same things. You know, just because this four young group of women uh, in Congress uh, called the squad or called right. the squad doesn't mean that they have to you know agree they on necessarily everything and endorse everybody at the same time. Yeah, I, I do think it's interesting. I know there has been some grumblings. I think about the whole. I, I, I've seen as some of our viewers who are they were upset at the amount of like love fest in between AOC and Ayanna because I think AOC tweeted like a heart back at Ayanna Presley <laughs> and it was like why is it like it's not a compassionate act <laughs> or like particularly courageous to endorse. Uh, Elizabeth Warren. I think the intra the intra progressive fight on this is interesting because if you see here, it's like what you got at Crystal, which is that Ayanna Presley's path through power and to power very much kind of represents Elizabeth Warren, whereas the other side it definitely does not. It's much of a more of an outsider thing. I think it's a real divide in the party right now about how to approach the problems of today and exactly how it all gets done. Yeah, look, yeah. I think the parties on both sides have been divided and are fighting these divisions. Mm -hmm. I'm happy in this case that nobody called Ayanna a Russian plant yes. for endorsing yeah, right. somebody yeah. outside of the squad's <laughs> purview. But, um, you, know, you know, I think it's, it's something in America in general. We're coming up against this grind against yeah. the establishment, whether you're a Republican or a Democrat, and that's happening in the party as well as among society yeah. generally. Yeah. Gentlemen, thank you. Great Thanks to see guys. you both. Thank you. Thank you. Tomorrow on Rising, Justice Democrats Alexander Rojas shares what the organization's 2020 strategy is. And author Matt Stoller will be here. He's going to tell us about his new book, Goliath, The Hundred Year War Between Monopoly, Power, and Democracy. It's a great one. You definitely want to be here for yep. that. Have a great day, guys. We'll see you back here tomorrow. See you tomorrow.